ocean is one of the most beautiful, diverse, and mysterious things on our planet. We rely on the ocean for so much, food, livelihoods, climate regulation, yet we treat it with such disrespect. In fact, three out of every seven people depend on seafood as their main source of protein. About 44% of the world's population lives within 93 miles of the ocean and some 2.5 trillion U.S. dollars per year of economic value is indirectly produced by the ocean. But despite our great dependence on the ocean, it is under threat. The biggest threats to the ocean can be seen on something as small as a sea turtle. For example, Bubbles is a baby loggerhead sea turtle. His species is on the endangered list. To put into perspective how serious threats today are, sea turtles have been around for about 65 million years, surviving periods like those of the dinosaurs and the ice age. Yet, all species of sea turtles have been listed in some way as endangered due to human actions. Turtles like bubbles are subject to many threats. First, fishing entanglement. Fishermen and the fishing industry pollute waters with dangers to the ocean's fragile ecosystems. Second, coastal development. As humans continue to build commercially along the coast, we destroy habitats and impact marine organisms. Not only is debris and human activity an issue, but animals that nest on shore confuse bright city lights with moonlight and can't find their way to the ocean. Jacques Cousier once stated, Water and air, the two essential fluids on which all life depends on, have become global garbage cans. Debris. Debris left by humans takes an unbelievable toll on our oceans. In fact, according to the National Ocean and Atmosphere Administration, 1.4 billion pounds of trash per year enter the ocean. Even worse than the debris is the problem of marine pollution. Wikipedia defines marine pollution as when harmful or potentially harmful effects result from the entry into the ocean of chemicals, particles, industrial, agricultural, and residential waste, noise, or the spread of invasive organisms. Most sources of marine pollution are land-based. The pollution often comes from non-point sources, such as agricultural runoff, wind-blown debris, and dust. Basically, the ocean cannot continue to thrive if we continue to treat it the way we are, with dangers such as oil spills, chemical runoff, toxic waste, and plastics. It used to be assumed that because the ocean was so large, vast, and deep, that the effects of polluting waters would only have minor consequences. Now, it is proven that this is not the case. In conclusion, we use the ocean and everything in it every day. If we can't take the extra effort to care for it when we do use it, then it will eventually die out, be useless or unusable, and gone for good.